This had the potential to be one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh products and it did not make it. So I know this might be a surprise, but Yu-Gi-Oh cards still do actually come in booster packs and you can still buy them in stores. Though while we have the iconic single pack blisters, there isn't really the same kind of variety we see in other card games. I really do just want to talk about the Deluxe Edition because I've been thinking about it for a while. This was a product released around the end of the Zexal era that would include a reusable box, 9 packs of the newest set, 2 promo cards, and some sleeves. Altogether, it seemed like a good deal and was really one of the best ways to get a decent amount of cards. Unfortunately, they only lasted about 4 sets, beginning with Judgment of the Light, continuing with Legacy of the Valiant and Primal Origin, until concluding with Duelist Alliance. These were some of my favorites. What made them so great? Why did they stop? And should we bring them back? Some of you might notice these are similar to the Elite Trainer Box from the Pokemon Training Card game. And being somebody who's also in that community, let me tell you that this is one of the most popular products for any given set. It is a nice middle of the road kind of thing. It's better than buying a handful of packs on their own, but they aren't near the same level of commitment as a full booster box. They include packs, sleeves, dice, counters, a bundle of energy cards, and a preview of the current set. They also release on the same day as the core booster set, so they're a great starting point for any beginners. Because they give you a good idea of the product while also including handy items you'll need when you eventually build your own deck but they're also good collectibles for established players. Hypothetically, this should have also been true for Yu-Gi-Oh's Deluxe Editions, but the biggest problem was that they often released about a month after the core set, so any serious players would just purchase a booster box and keep the cards they want while selling off what they didn't need, if at all. And any really casual collectors would have also just bought the loose packs when they saw them. Also, when it comes to beginner players, their best option would be to purchase three copies of any structure deck without needing to touch any of the core sets. And that is more true now than ever. One of the advantages that the Deluxe Edition did have were that the promo cards included were previews of the next upcoming set, so that was the main reason people would even buy them. Also, there was a pretty cool idea where each series would have one of two different box designs featuring popular cards, and the sleeves were actually pretty good, they were close to perfect fit, so they made it easier to double sleeve your extra deck. I genuinely don't think Konami could bring these back in the current year and have them actually work. I mean, yeah, it would be nice if they tried it out, and definitely the one thing they should change is to have these actually released day and date with the core booster set. Though aside from the base packs and booster boxes, a lot of their additional products are reprint sets that do actually sell well enough. The fact that they reprint important cards that were previously at high rarities and even tap into the nostalgia and collectability, like the recent Egyptian themed Tims or rarity collections, makes them desirable. It is pretty hard to sell a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh packs to people unless they're in a booster box with guaranteed pools, or as part of a sneak peek with promos and raffles and stuff, or if you were just tapping into that nostalgia. But what if we took that basis of the Deluxe Edition and then just filled it with the good reprint packs? I mean, the tins do look cool, but let's be honest, they're pretty terrible for card storage. I know like for the legendary decks, they do make them in actual cardboard boxes, so everything should just be that from now on. And it would be cool if you brought back those variant arts. I remember Magnificent Mavens did this thing where there were various sleeves you could get, so throw some of those in there as well. Especially if they're just going to continue the waifu trend, people are going to eat that up. Promo cards would be great like they've done in the past. And if the main packs you're going to include in this are going to be those reprint packs, then you can technically even bring back the preview cards for the next upcoming booster set. And honestly, give us some dice. Remember those legendary duelist collections? One of the redeeming factors were that they came with some really cool dice. Use those. And you know all that together might actually make for a decent product. I don't know, I just think it would be great to have a single consistent product for both old and new players that is actually worth buying. And maybe it could actually be something to combine all these various weird little side products into one big definitive thing. Maybe I'm just nostalgia blind from opening up those deluxe editions with friends at the card shop because I can't find any videos of what we recorded. I mean, I don't even really buy much sealed product anymore, but I think something collectible with actual good cards might make me spend a few more dollars. So let me know if you remember these products and what you would like to see in the future. I'm not even sure if anyone else will find this interesting, but a lot of people have been liking the weirder content on the channel, so that's nice to know. Anyway, this is Gatorx. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.